So what's going on Toxic Gamers? Today we're going to be talking about the world's most wokest game of all time. This game has been made from the ground up for the modern audience and I'm not even the one actually calling that. Apparently this game is labeled the wokest game ever. We recently also had the monkey game, the, the black myth Wukong. That game is killing it, okay? And never forget, these seconds wanted the monkey looking like this in that game but they ultimately rejected. We had the Concord situation, right? We also had the Captain BBC! <laughs> Samurai situation as well and that was raging wildfires, but no longer that situation is no longer raging wildfires Like the video if you think they're two genders Just like the video if you think they're 5,000 genders and guys there's a video that I want to share with you guys Okay, but real quick. I want you guys to take a guess Okay, because this one is absolutely insane story. So you got black myth wukong 2.3 million insane I, I what i was hearing was that this game is easily gonna do like 400k 500k seconds we're expecting this game to do 500k and yeah that was a good prediction i mean even if it had 500k people playing the game that would be crazy but 2.3 million you said us crazy and, and the the story here is this and now you're probably wondering right like what about this dustborn game what about this world wokest game ever that is being made for from the ground up for the modern audience that game must be killing it too right maybe pff, that game is like three million people right now maybe even four million never know right M maybe it has four million people we're gonna get right into it take a guess be generous guys be generous today it's your day to shine okay uh put your seat belts on guys because uh the road ahead is gonna be a little bit bumpy there's a uh, construction up ahead ladies and gentlemen so i want you guys to sh i want to show you the number now don't fall down okay if you uh, <laughs> easily fall down then sit down okay i don't want you guys falling down all right dust morn hit 83 people <laughs> 83 people so the world most wokest game of all time hit 83 people and everybody looking like this i mean damn you guys really i, I i'm not even gonna blame anybody i'm just gonna blame all of you guys watching this video okay Th this is how you guys do it you guys couldn't even get this game to a hundred people you guys crazy i swear to god man uh, 83 people and half of them are youtubers probably reviewing the game the the reviewers right at this point, the YouTubers are making more money from the disaster than these devs out there. What the hell is going on, man? This is how you guys do it. In Urdu, I would like to say, Yaar, yaan pe na propaganda nahi chal raha. Inke saath proper gandu ho gaya, bhencho. Yaan pe kya ho gaya? Ye inki, inka janaza nikal gaya. Arey, mar gaya saale, halak ho gaya, bhencho. Guzar gaya, guzar gaya. This is insane. Okay, uh, let's get into the video right now, alright? Right now, gamers are... Uh, shout out to the homie, Dr. Disaster being given a choice with the new games that have just been released. Wait for on it, wait for hand, it. We can choose the likes of Black Myth Wukong, featuring the badass Monkey on the screen here. I like it. On the other hand, you can choose the likes of Dustborn, where you get nagged for hours on end about how evil our society is and how only wokeness can save us. And, and another another one of the situation, you know, we talked about it previously. It's not even Liza at this point. They always add black people and they make them gain the game. Have you realized where my black homies at though? Right? Like, they always do that, bro. They always do that. They always make black people gay in the game. You know, even the, 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 the BBC Samurai situation, right? Yeah, like, uh, of course, Yasuke existed, but he was not gay in real life. If he was, then, of course, makes sense to make him gay in the game. We talked about it numerous times. But he was not. Prime example, right? Like, they still made him gay in the game, bro. They always do that, man. Like, why? Why? That's a double racist, bro. That's racism. That's actually racism. That's racist. They are being racist. They always do that, bro. Damn. Is ...and how only wokeness can save us. Get the hell out of here. I hope you're sitting down right now for this one, because it is time to absolutely shock you. Much to the chagrin of the gaming journalists and the activist developers working in the industry right now, people are not choosing to play Dustborn. The Steam servers for that game... I, I, I got nobody to b but to blame you guys, man. You guys be actually doing that, man. You guys crazy, man. Uh, at least 100 people. Get it to 100 people, man. Right now, YouTubers making more money, man. I think I might be making more money than, than this game right now. Man. That, is, that is crazy. That is crazy right now, man. Damn. You guys watching the video are making more money than them right now. Damn. That is crazy, man. That is crazy. Are emptier than a Rosie O'Donnell OnlyFans. Where the hell is everybody? Oh, hell no. I'm out of here. Okay, he's gonna dance. Yeah, I love the guy, but okay, we gotta get to the the the, the content here, boo boo. Uh, 
Let's roll it. Uh oh. Now, Dustborn fully embraced wokeness to the point that many people are calling this piece of crap the wokest game ever made. And now, you would think that with all the gamers out there that love that sort of content, that this game would audience. be kicking ass and absolutely yeah. tearing up the Steam charts. After all, I have been reliably informed by the likes of Kotaku and IGN and others that most gamers are on the quote unquote right side of history and they embrace wokeness and want to support all these activist developers out there. I have been reliably informed that people like me who push back against the shit are just a very vocal minority and that in the gaming community our words mean jack and shit and jack left town but time and time and time again we are finding out that it is actually these screeching harpies working in games journalism that are out of touch and completely outnumbered at the same time that black myth wukong is setting records on steam for the number of players i mean look at that right like you know what i'm saying like you got 2.3 million <laughs> You got 83 people, bro. That is crazy. You guys didn't just kill it, man. You just buried it alive. If you get that reference, you get the reference. If you know, you know. You, you didn't. It wasn't killed. It was buried alive. It wasn't just murdered. It was buried alive. There. If you get the reference, you get the reference. If you don't get it, hey, no, no biggie, no biggie. We got a lot of other stuff to talk about, guys, so get ready, man, get ready. Here's playing it. Dustborn, at the time of this recording, after being released for a full day, has had a max concurrent player count of 81. And to be Let clear, count I don't mean 8100 or 81,000, I mean literally 81. Granted that at the moment, it's early in the morning, but there are currently 25 people in the whole damn world yeah. playing this game on Steam with a peak. Uh, th thankfully, right now, there are 45, so damn, they doubled it, right? They doubled it. Oh, Dang, oh, almost doubled it. It should have been 50 right now, then they would double. That's crazy, okay? So 200% uh, increase, almost 200% increase. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Concurrent player count of 81. That is your modern audience, <laughs> my dudes. We keep seeing this shit play out over and over. Games like Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn, <laughs> Concord, Dustborn, they keep trying to play into this market for crazy cat ladies who like to pretend that they're gamers. But one of these days... Uh, and this game plays from Xbox, I'm assuming, or, uh, or PC. PC or Xbox? PC they will probably. recognize the PC. truth that those people that they are pandering to okay i, I don't know w yeah probably pc 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 are not gamers they are activists who will say that they like this crap in order to get the industry to change to their whims but they won't yeah. buy any games because they aren't gamers and they don't yeah. actually give a shit these are a swarm of locusts who descend on various hobbies long enough to consume everything in them that once made them cool and interesting and then they move on to the next one because what these tourists are really after are political points and virtue signals. yeah that is all they care about and if the gaming industry but, but, uh, you're just a hater but the, the pc gameplay graphics are kind of good actually right like Bruh. damn 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 look at that man graphics kind of killing it right now those tits up they don't give a shit they weren't planning on playing anyhow and they'll just move on to the next hobby and try to invest it with their nagging yeah. woke politics yeah. this game is exactly my point right and, and you know what if you're not understanding what he just said it's it's so true though because you know sweet baby inc uh, it's like an activist group right they are they they're the ones uh first of all they openly admit that they don't like gamers they hate gamers uh, in other words that's what it means right they don't like gamers okay they don't like gamers and ultimately and, and the situation is so effed up uh, the good outcome from this one is that yeah sweet baby inc and you know these activist group they really wanted the monkey looking like this in black myth wukong and essentially the story here is this they wanted to extort 7 million US dollars from Black Myth Wukong! Oh shit! Yeah, these suckers are crazy! And you wanna know what these suckers said? We just wanna provide our guidance. We wanna provide our guidance. <laughs> you guys crazy? I don't want that guidance! I don't want that bullshit ass guidance though! And that's exactly what Game Science, the dev team behind uh, Black Myth Wukong said, right? So they tried to, uh, Sweet Baby Inc, right? Tried to extort seven million dollars and they were like we're gonna provide you with our guidance with our expertise and essentially what their expertise was gonna be or their guidance this is the type of guidance they wanted they wanted like the monkeys looking like this in the game they them kong uh you, you know not binary maze this and that like yeah you know what i'm saying like so you know game science that then said no we don't want it leave us alone we're gonna make the game for gamers and it was just some gamer bros gamer dudes out there that were passionate about video games made the game for their target audience made the game for gamers and you you see the results you see the results 
right? And then they got mad. They got mad, and this is why. And they tried to cancel the game. They were like, "Ee, ee, ee, ee. it don't have enough diversity. We need the diversity." And that, of course, of course, added that sauce of negative marketing or you know that woke kind of marketing. And you know that's uh, that made a lot more gamers go ahead uh, and buy the game. A lot more gamers are like, you know what? I was looking to buy it. Now I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna make sure that I buy the damn game, okay? And people really did do buy the game, okay? So 2.3 million, and this is actually, you know, I don't even view this as bad news, guys. Like I, I know, I know, I know, I don't view this as bad news. Why? Because I think it's gonna get worse before it gets better. I do believe that it's gonna get worse before it gets better, but it's gonna get better though. So you know what, I'm coming at you with a lot of hope right now, I'm coming at you, because yeah, how many times we get unfinished games, how many times games are filled with microtransactions, this and that, and now the woke stuff in it too, right, and games looking, like genuinely, look at this game bro, genuinely. Forget about the woke crap, forget about the woke crap, just genuinely look at this game, right, you saw a little bit of the gameplay in the background as well. Does it look fun? Do you want to play this game? Do you want to play this game or this game? Be honest. Be honest. Like, come on. We, we saw the Summer Game Fest. We saw yesterday's, uh, what was this called? Uh, Gamescom, right? Holy crap. Where are the games? Where are the games, man? There was Black Ops 6, and, but, but Black Ops 6 looks odd, but it just looks odd. It's not even impressive no more, right? Call of Duty is no longer impressive no more. We had that some zombie games that were, you know, kind of mid. Mafia 4, that was the big reveal, I would say that. Indiana Jones, okay, that's one of the game for the modern audience. They already confirmed that they are making it for the modern audience. We all saw that, right? That happened. Bethesda, right? They, they confirmed that. Not even uh, rumors at this point. They said that. But still, uh, Indiana Jones looks odd, though. It, it looks odd. It looks odd. So, but, but that was it. Two hour show, and every other game was just hot garbage. What is going on in the gaming industry, bro? What is going on in the gaming industry? So I do believe that it's gonna get worse than currently. Uh, currently, I know some of you guys are saying that, bro, like, I don't think it's gonna get uh, worse than that, man. Like, what, what do you mean, bro? You got me looking like this, man. I, I do believe that we're gonna be like this. We're gonna be staying, we're gonna stay looking like this for a little bit. <laughs> but after that, I think they're gonna learn. They're gonna learn because games do take time uh, for them to make right and essentially a lot of games that uh, do have the the ingredients of modern audience uh the woke stuff and all that and, and forget about the woke stuff well the games generally aren't, aren't even that good the you, you feel what i'm saying so there's that aspect to it but i do believe that this is a good thing that this happened right concord another game that is failing miserably right now so more games that we have like that and more they fail more we're gonna get the good ones okay they're gonna quickly realize that money talks bolt squash walks i mean the same reason why we're getting indiana jones on playstation 5 right they realize they need to make money man they need to make money right now some sony ponies <laughs> and xbox andys are crying over that crap man they're fighting memes are fine though memes are generally fine i love the memes i love the banter i love the the sauce as well myself but but you know some of the the xbox fanboys they're just sadly they're sad about it like that's pathetic man like damn okay if, if uh somebody's like 12 years old 14 years old understandable okay i've also done console war stuff like back when i was 12 14 15 as well understandable i mean it's your age it's perfectly fine though like live a little with that it's fine it's fine though but if you're like the age of 20 or above right i mean damn who cares who cares though? I, I do get it though. It's gonna reduce the why factor of getting an Xbox. That that part I already understand. And maybe it's gonna affect the normies. But if you're already a fan of Xbox though, right? Like who cares? If you're already a fan of PlayStation, who cares, right? Like if Spider-Man goes on it uh, or Xbox uh, games comes on PlayStation, vice versa, right? Like you got your console, you got your console. At this point, PC is the, 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 the best. PC is the best essentially. That's where we at right now, right? But we're gonna be get we gotta see more of these games flop for them to realize and understand acolyte tv season tv show season one of the wokest tv show ever and guess what they canceled it they canceled because they ain't making no money man they they're, they ain't making no money and the and this is the sad this is the saddest truth but it's true though youtubers are making more money hell like most of you guys are making more money than this company right now 
At least over this game, though. At least over this game. I don't know if they got injected by BlackRock or not, but wait for it. Based on 2016 era politics, and this right here is the consequence of being focused on politics instead of story. Instead of making a story that's timeless, like what we can find in Black Myth Wukong, for example, these people make stories and games that are mired in a very specific time, and they will be looked back on as a flavor of the month at best, because the woke fad is dying. The young kids this once appealed to are growing up, and they will look back at photos of themselves with their pink hair and septum rings in the same way that people from my generation look back at their wallet chains and baggy pants and think what the hell was i doing you know i got the perfect meme for that yeah i got the perfect meme for that 2018 hey son i found a picture of your grandpa 2060 hey son i found a picture of your grandpa it'd be like that man how many of you guys took your how many of you guys took pictures of yourself with a with a cat Emoji face app kind of bull squash. Don't lie! Don't lie! <laughs> Don't lie! If you took those images, what I'm saying here is that no shame in that, okay? No shame in that. If you took pictures, delete them! Delete them! That's the message. That's the message. Delete them, okay? Delete them. <laughs> delete this them before they find out. is doomed to fail these days now that people are becoming alert to this crap. Too many gamers thought they could ignore the woke infestation, thinking Toxic it was gamers. no big deal and it would all go away. But these activists have hollowed out so many of our franchises that most games these days are just about unplayable. Combine yeah. that with the terrible business practices of some of these wretched AAA game studios like Ubisoft and EA, and you've got what amounts to a barren wasteland for gamers, yeah. filled with the likes of Dustborn that nobody... Yeah, unfinished games, first of all, right? Glitches, bugs, uh, you know, we're beta testing the games, uh, filled with microtransactions, right? Battle passes. Now, the new thing with uh, Ubisoft is that they, they want to release the game in early access, right? Or what they would do is that they would re delay the release date of the standard game, which costs $70. They will delay it by three days, and, and then they would, they would, they would release uh, the deluxe edition, day one, and call it early access or uh, play the game three days early or play the game early but you gotta pay a hundred dollars right so that's kind of like the new their new way of charging people a hundred dollars and on, on top introduce another uh, uh, and on top uh, introduce like a subscription based service right so you gotta pay like 20 almost 20 dollars a month and therefore you don't have to pay hundred dollars guys it's a very good business model these suckers know if you actually hold a subscription for five months plus they're gonna make a hundred dollars you feel what I'm saying? They're gonna make more money off of that right, instead of selling you the game. Even, I mean, think about it. Think about this for the second. Think, think about this for a second, right? Even if they sell you the deluxe version for $100 and you buy that and play the game three days early, kind of, right? Or day one, they're just delaying the standard version by three days, right? It, it's so, it's so pathetic though, but this is where it's going right now. So you paid $100 and you played the game day one, right? Now, they're gonna come at you and be like, yeah, buy the subscription, man. Only $20, worth $20, $100? Do you wanna buy the game for $100 or $20? You're gonna be like, uh, uh, $20? I wanna get the game for $20, but that's only for one month, though. And if you hold the subscription for five months, they already made $100. And guess what? After that, if you feel like that, man, I, I, you know, holy crap, like, they're overcharging me right now. You know, when you, um, if you w wake up, Maybe, maybe you're gonna wake up, right, and realize, holy crap, like, I, I spent $100 already? You cancel the subscription. You wanna know what, what's gonna happen? You're not gonna own the game. You can no longer play the game. Yeah. So, and, and even if you buy the games nowadays, it's Ubisoft already said you're, you, you know, get comfortable by not owning our games. In other words, uh, you're not gonna own anything, but be happy. You ever heard that quote, right? Yeah, it, it's true. Even if you buy the games as in, in like, discs or digital, but, you know, subscriptions, that's like a completely different beast, bro. Completely different beast. You, you stop paying it, you don't even own it, bro. Even if you actually held the subscription for five days and paid the full amount, like $100. So, it, it, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. These things are crazy, man. Like, AAA gaming is insane. And on top, they add the woke stuff in it. That's like the other factor. Which has United Gamers, though. I, I would say that. This, this crap... As United Gamers and right now I'm seeing a lot more people coming together as one and calling out the bull squash because prior to all of this you would see people like having genuine complaints like hey too many microtransactions too many this unfinished games messes glitches bugs and then you know the fanboys and the the other side would be like bro like hey it's it's fine man it's a it's very hard to make games no 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 kidding bro no shit it is hard to make games but 
Can a brother get a finalized version? Can a brother get a finished product at launch? You know, so people would be defending. They would be like, yeah, my, don't like it, don't buy it. Microtransaction, you don't like it, hey, don't buy it. Don't buy microtransactions. Oh, it's just bugs, bro. Yeah, they're gonna fix it, man. Day one patch, brother, day one patch, day one patch. Even when day one patch comes out, it doesn't fix the game. Bruh. <laughs> you know, even when that happens, they're like, you know what? Like, wait for the next update, Poppy. It's gonna be all right, Poppy. It's gonna be fine, man. Give some time, man. Give some time. Game comes out at 30 FPS. Meanwhile, you got PS5, uh, Xbox Series X, right? Should run at 30, uh, 60 FPS minimum. 60 FPS minimum. Gamers would be like, you know what? It's all right, Poppy. It's all right, man. They're having a hard time, man. They're having a hard time, bruh. So we had that. We had all of that, man. And now that we we all we got we're getting games looking like this now, it broke the camel's back, and now everybody's coming together. So it, it's crazy, man. Gamers are waking up. Gamers are waking up. So that's uh, the 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 positive out of it. Nobody wants to play. Conversely, Black Myth Wukong has repeatedly told the activists in the industry who don't give a shit about games to pound sand. The developers of Black Myth simply made a game that people would enjoy. And look at how that's going. Yeah. There are literally millions Holy. of people playing that. It takes Dude. seven digits Dude. to express how many people are playing that game concurrently. Meanwhile, Dustborn can't even crack the third digit, which is almost <laughs> unbelievable. This expresses my point so well that I'm almost thinking this has to be parody. These guys have to have done this on purpose, right? In, in Urdu, I would like to they can't actually be this unpopular at the same time that Black Myth Wukong is destroying the rest of the industry, can they? Well, it doesn't matter how many times I refresh that Steam chart for Dustborn. It just doesn't change. Nobody wants to play games that feature characters like this. These people think that this is what heroes look like because they believe they are the main characters. But real heroes are... Heroes. Heroes. ...are inspirational and don't just mindlessly conform to activist standards and fads. So no. Heroes. He Nobody wants to play as these jackasses, but I'm gonna leave it there. Drop your mind. Guys, check out this video on the screen. I'm saying, <laughs> check out this video on the screen. This recently just happened. Huge drama! Huge drama! If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We had some new gameplay leaks, heist leaks, for heist leaks for GTA 6 as well. Check out these videos on the screen, and I'll see you right there, man.